looking at. <laughs> See? <laughs> Tell me where How you are doing, want to Mark? hold it. Hi. It's, it's a pleasure to have you here. Yeah. And uh, I'm Kasia. And so this company is Ent Degree and they're doing some exciting work. Do you guys solution process LEDs and coat LEDs on large surfaces? Is that what you do? Um, yeah. This is uh, um, an inter inorganic uh, printed LED. It's not an OLED. It's actually a, a gallium nitride based uh, standard LED. Okay. Uh, the only difference is instead of being little die that are a millimeter square, yeah. they're more like about the size of a white blood cell. And so they're so small that we can print it in an ink and print it. So how do you get it into an ink? Do you start with a wafer and then, uh, and then dice it? Um, it? It starts in the wafer and then we have proprietary processes that, that uh, release it in the LEDs in the wild and, okay. and, and we can make an ink out of them. Okay. Yeah. And then uh, once you coat it, how do you make sure that they are aligned in the right way? Or you don't? You just um, let it be? We have we have ways of making that work too. Okay. <laughs> There's some proprietary techniques yes. we've developed for that. Okay. Okay. Um, the LEDs, uh, we've had to design all the materials that go into this, including the LED structures, yes. um, the inks, uh, the transparent conductors, pretty much everything. Um, and so we've been able to make all those things work together so that we can really quite, uh, quite um, 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 Easily control the sure. the uh, the way the LEDs lay down. So what what sort of transparent conductor do you use? Um, it's a proprietary transparent conductor you make it that yourself. we developed. Yeah, you yeah. don't buy off the shelf. You know that's so many on the market. We, wow. we, well, we needed a printed transparent conductor we could pattern, and everybody else that makes transparent conductors, unless it's P dot, yes, you have to do things like coat it and then yes. etch it. This is a printed a printed transparent conductor we can screen print, uh, flexo print, and uh, so it doesn't. See require any of uh, those sorts of fancy etching processes. And so. And so what are the applications? Signage maybe? Um, pretty much uh, anything, any place where you need a flat light or you need a light where you can't uh, put light right now. Uh, or many places that you put lights right now, for example, um, uh, coolers are a great example of some place that, um, that um, a lot of LEDs are being used now. But if you, you, you look at the cooler, there's, there are these dot, 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 yeah, dot, yeah. right? One inch apart, two inch apart LEDs, really bright LEDs. Yeah. And so where they put one LED, we spread 100 over a surface. So instead of having the intense single point, uh, points of light, we disperse the light over a surface mm. and get a nice diffuse light. And so it's much more pleasing and, yes. and uh, it's cooler. You can put your hand on it and, and it's, it's pleasantly warm, but that's about it. Mm. Um, if you put, it on, um, and put your hand on a traditional hybrid LED, yeah, uh, you you'll burn your hand. And as yeah. you notice, there's no heat sink on that. And that's because we spread the LED over the entire surface. And so the entire surface, the lighting surface, becomes the heat sink. As opposed mm. to a traditional no, LED no, where no, you have no, to no, put no, a no, Coke can like size yes, yes. <laughs> heat sink on a point, point LED source. So how do you guys uh, compare with OLED lighting? Because you know the story of OLED lighting is also about mm -hmm. surface emission using mm -hmm. flexible and lightweight substrates. Yeah. Well, um, OLED lighting is uh, has its place, um, but it's um, there are limitations in terms of uh, longevity and environmental stability yes. and um, and the other problem with all the so, uh, lighting is there are limits to how bright you can get it yes, and correct. get good yes. longevity uh, and essentially with our technology our, our question is always not well we, or not a statement of we can we can make it this bright it's a question of how bright do you need it to be and then we can make it that bright um, within limits there's a, there are certain limits that's right we don't want to get too bright because then we'll see the, the, the temperatures that are safe for the surface. We don't want to make something that's that's going to burn people's hands. It's when control the driving, but the window is much broader. The window is much broader. Yes. Okay. Well, excellent. Well, thank you very much. Okay. And uh, I hope you had a good show. And, uh, it's been really uh, been wild. There's, it? the, it's been three deep, two deep, and one deep most of the time. Oh, so, good. That's what I want to hear. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Thank you. This part we get more correct. Yeah. It just depends on the, the design and the, and the application. How do you make it aligned? You're still going. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like this. We're uh, printing these on flexo press. So it's uh, it's this is really cool looking when you light it up. You get this 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 spiral of of light. Um, yeah. So I don't have a power supply for. I don't think I have a power supply handy at all. Drive this.
because those are different. Um, yeah, here's, this is a good one. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, we actually have a dedicated fab that's um, basically the they're no, this highly is actually, aligned with our, uh, uh, our wafer supplier. Uh -huh. So if oh, you, yeah, we can do high is, volume, uh, they can process yeah, this a thousand is, uh, wafers. This has phosphor only on one side, so this is actually the back side right. This is actually a translucent lamp right here. So if the phosphor wasn't on, this should be able to see right through. It. So, yeah, this is actually printed with transparent conductor on both sides. So this is something where you can actually use this technology in wearable fashion. Yeah, actually, yeah, actually that's what the shape was intended for. There was a fashion show, and the designer had us made some lamps with all these various shapes, and then they stitched them inside wedding dresses, and they wired them up to a power supply, and made these flashing, glowing, um, glowing uh, wedding dresses. It's very lightweight, very, very flexible. Oh, yes, yes, indeed. Excellent.